I have some bad news today. I've concluded. I have con- I have concluded that my Maui gems are gone forever. These are not my Maui gems. These are some cheapos that I found for free. These are nothing. My Maui gems. I just got back from warranty repair. And they were like a brand new pair of sunglasses again. And it's kind of funny. I'll have to go in and give you a play by play while I roll the video clip. But due to my vlogging, I, I was actually able to pinpoint the exact moment that I lost my sunglasses. I was doing a time lapse. The first half of the time lapse, they're on my face. The second half, they are not on my face. And I kind of figured out what I did. Uh, it's a freaking major bummer, man. I love those sunglasses. I had just found them, and then... You know, let me cut to the clip, and I'll describe what happened. Ah. So here we go. I'm pulling in. I'd spent all day long trying to get this bus. It, I was a hot, sweaty mess. So I wasn't really thinking about my sunglasses, although they kept sliding off my head. Here you can see I actually, it looks like I'm taking them off, but I'm not. I'm just making sure they're on nice and tight. Then I go around, I go to the back of the vehicle. You'll see another uh, check uh, right about here. You'll see that I do have them on my face and they are accounted for. There they are. And then I come around to the, you got to watch the shadow in the foreground here, right here. You can actually see in the shadow in the foreground where I take them off my head and I set them down. Here we go again. See that? I reach my hands up. I grab them. I take them off. I think I turn around and I set them on the bumper of the Jeep. Here we go. One more time. I reach up to my face. I grab the sunglasses, take them off, turn around, and I set them on the bumper of the Jeep. I realized that I uh, never showed this in like full um, motion, so I thought I'd just play this out for you guys now, so you can see actually how it came off of the dolly. Yep, and that's uh, that's what happened to him. Oh no, we lost it. Here we go. Here we go. All right, cool. We're good. Yeah. Okay, now you can clearly see they are not on my stupid dancing face. Why are you so happy? Run over to the Jeep, grab those sunglasses. So there you have it. These are not my Maui gems. They're crushed on the road somewhere, I'm sure. I don't know, I don't know what I did. They're not here anymore, they're gone forever. I had them for 10 years. So to me, expensive sunglasses are completely worth it. So, I will be getting another pair because they are the greatest sunglasses I've ever owned. I'm a little disappointed in myself that I lost them, but what are you going to do? I don't lose sunglasses. This is an anomaly. Um, you know, I always hold on to my sunglasses. They stay with me for years and years and years. I kind of, it goes along with my, minimal, my quest for minimalism. Uh, I need to not be attached to physical things. Uh, they were just useful. I liked, you know, it was great to have a top quality uh, set of um, of polarized sunglasses. Um, they performed well. That was the thing is that they were functional. It wasn't about the materialism. It wasn't a, you know, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe that's an excuse, but I love expensive sunglasses. I'm gonna get another pair soon. But now I am on my way to meet Mark. He, oh, he has a shop. That's where we um, went to go look at John's new van that he bought. Um, I'm taking pictures of my new bus down to Mark to show him what's up with the bus. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is when I go off on my travels, I will leave the bus with him. That way he can spend as much time as he wants and uh, you know, I, I'll just give him a job or two, you know, um, maybe I'm thinking do all the brakes on it. That would be a great start. 
um, or install a engine in it. Um, that would be another good thing to do. I'll be meeting up with Mark to kind of go over what I need. All right, so I'm pulling up to Mark's shop right now. Oh, I hate it when I'm in too low of a gear. I'm just gonna park over here. Cause he's got a lot of stuff going on in his shop. All right, I'm gonna head inside, show him some pictures of my van. While I'm here, I might as well take, take some pictures of John's van. That's his new one, his Vanagon. It's not a bad ride. I think he should save it. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. This one's got a diesel motor, which the motor's gonna be yanked out of it. But yeah, that's John's, uh, that's John's new camper. Well, it turns out that I know Mark. Mark is a guy in the van club. He actually helped me out. My batteries died in the bread truck one time when I brought it down there. He tried to help me out. But uh, yeah, man, this is a great contact to make. And uh, I'll definitely be bringing my bus here to have something done. Either the brakes, maybe a new motor. The possibilities are endless. But Mark also sent me down to another place and that sounds like a great contact. He sent me down to a place called Full Throttle. Oh, and by the way, this place is called Auto Pro. Mark is the owner and uh, Auto Pro is on Edgewater out in Lockhart. And uh, he's sending me down to the place called Full Throttle. It's in Lockhart as well, I believe. It's just down the road here. So I'm gonna go try to catch up with a guy named Shannon and uh, maybe source some uh, good used parts. Well, I have definitely come to the right place. They have beetles and they have buses and yeah, this is definitely the place for me. Uh, I'm gonna go inside and see if I can find uh, Shannon. Volkswagen people. Look at that baby. That's awesome. This is the motherland right here. I've been coming here since I bought a 65 Volkswagen Beetle from Shane Shaganaw back in back after high school. Uh, 1995 was when I used to shop here. Um, but yeah, this is Triangle. They are the Volkswagen uh, parts specialists. Check out this bus right over here. Oh, hold on. It's a stretch. Look at that thing. Look how long it is. How crazy is that? <laughs> and then on the side of the building over there, they got the uh, they got the half a bu bug uh, with some mad camber. But let me run up in this place. Let me run up inside real quick and talk to them about my bus and see what kind of news they got for me. I'm kind of kind of looking for a turnkey motor that's ready to go. We'll see what they got. They had them back in 95. Doing good, man. How are you?
You know, I came over here and I thought there was a uh, car park here. Turns out it's 